Hey everyone, so the guitar pick. It's been a little while since I've spoken about this. There's been a few little updates. Um, first and foremost, I should say a massive thank you to everyone that bought a Halo RC Stroke NJ Tech guitar pick. I cannot tell you how absolutely stunned we were that we managed to sell out the first batch within pretty much 24 hours of this uh, collaboration frame uh, between myself and Halo. Uh, yeah, we were super stoked. It, it was just such a good response. And then that continued to sell, still does continue to sell uh, in a really strong manner. And I've seen some of your build picks on Instagram, because I always say, you know, tag me over on Instagram. Let me, let me see what you're up to. And I've seen some absolutely wonderful uh, build some really creative stuff as well so if you were one of those people that went out and bought this and you're having fun ripping it around uh, th absolute massive thanks to you for, for having faith and trying that out and I, I hope you're all loving it we've certainly had some great feedback in terms of how things have developed um, I tend to be flying my one pretty much exclusively because most of these uh, miniature flight controllers are on DSHOT 600 um, at the fastest uh, what I tend to do is use the JESC so I do play the few bucks uh, per each guitar pick and then I run on the latest JESC um, I do run at 24 kilohertz I find the 48 to be a little bit twitchy I think that works well for the ducted prop stuff but I find it's just a little bit too twitchy on the three inch guitar picks if you're running 2.5 maybe your luck will change but I found 24 to be really very smooth everything feels great no complaints at all and they tune up so well uh, they actually fly great just on stock beta flight uh, let alone if you're then you know like me and you're going to start hunting down that perfect tune they all tuned up really well uh, obviously I've put out plenty of videos showing you how these things fly showing you how I built them and the various different types that you can build so my initial one uh, the one that I started um, building first of all was just a standard definition uh, analog setup with an onboard DVR the diamond VTX with the DVR built in so I was able to show you some DVR footage on board which obviously uh, mitigates any of the static that you'd see through just recording from the goggles. I also built this one here which you can see and this one has the um, the Cadex baby turtle inside there and this has uh, you can just about see it's all a bit tight this build but it did work out managed to fit the uh, fit this all in together and you can get the SD card in there so that you could record 1080p 60. In terms of the motors um, I've had a lot of success with the 1204s. They've they've really been a perfect match. Bear in mind this, uh, both of my SD, uh, the SD and this HD with with analog, have all come in at around 100 grams all up weight uh, on 3S. Um, these 1204s, uh, 5000 kV, have been absolutely spot on. Been really pleased with them. I've experimented with a bunch of different props, um, and of course that's just down to to preference really. Tri blades do tend to be a little bit easier to work with uh, and run a little smoother, but I do just love the speed, um, the flight time, and the performance of bi blades. What I do want to show you today, however, is an update. So Bloods went away and did some wonderful work design, redesigning a canopy that would house, and you've probably already spotted this, a Cadex Vista. So what you are looking at here, let me move this guy off to one side for a second. What you are looking at here is a Guitar Pick HD. Uh, and uh, as soon as I'd seen what he'd done, uh, Bloods had built a real monster one with some, uh, I think they were 1206, 4500 KV uh, status, some zings I think they were. He'd built a real powerhouse monster, as of course we expect from Bloods. But what I did was take my, my SD setup, um, and then I've printed this um, out of TPU, as I do with um, all of my... Uh, uh, fairings that go on top of my my quads all of my canopies um, but he's just done such an exceptional exceptional job designing this and of course as bloods always does this stuff's available on the website um, to go and grab on the halo rc uh, website if you want to go and grab this design as an stl file uh, load it into something like cura or whatever slicer you're using and then if you've got a 3D printer, obviously, you can print that one up. But um, you can also 
uh, purchase that from Bloods if you don't have a 3D printer. In terms of the um, weight, you can see this has got uh, a fair bit taller, but it's still absolutely fine. Uh, and it has obviously gained some weight, like there was no way around that. It was going to gain some weight, but we've gone from, I think, an all up weight of about 105, 106 grams on the SD version to 130. So it's not a massive gain. It's still a 130 gram quad. Uh, when I say 130 grams, I believe that was actually, yeah, that's the all up weight, by the way. That's not the dry weight. That's with a 453 amp, uh, 450 milliamp 3S uh, LiPo battery as well. So with that included, you're getting to 130 grams. So, uh, you know, obviously this weighs even less than that. Um, so I've been just, su I was super happy with the way this has turned out. Now, the board that I'm using is the, this is actually one that Beta FPV sent me. This was their all-in-one 20 amp. Uh, toothpick board which has been really solid work wonderfully um, this is the version 2 I think I have here now there is a version 3 and that is the one you're going to need to go for if you want to um, be able to run MSP uh, with the Cadex Vista um, obviously that's kind of that's pretty important because if you don't run MSP and you literally just run power to this um, you can't do any kind of beta flight tuning, so really you're going to have to always plug into the flight controller, which means taking something to the field with you to plug in and tune it. Uh, so it's a real pain, to be honest with you. Unfortunately, the V2, as I said, um, the reason they went to a V3 is because it didn't have the extra UART that you need. Um, the first UART that is kind of available is is shared for the S Plus receiver that I have wired into here, the XM Plus, which is actually tucked in uh, between the board and the base plate. Um, but yeah, there's no extra UART, so bit of a pain, bit of a shame that I can't run MSP. But they are apparently going to be sending me uh, the next version of this along, so I can swap it out and uh, put in MSP, so I can do all the good stuff directly through the DJI goggles. Um, so yeah, little bit of a tight fit um, and obviously fiddly. Uh, one of the things I really like about this is how uh, Bloods has um, put this antenna holder at the back. Super solid. It's, you know, if it lands on the top here, it's nicely tucked away. This is a good kind of recess area for this to sit. Uh, and so far, yeah, it's been absolutely flawless. No problems with video at all. And obviously an incredibly enjoyable experience to fly this, um, to be flying with the DJI HD system um, in you know low latency mode 23 milliseconds uh, and that beautiful HD quality it's just a wonderful experience the other thing to mention here as well is that tiny little weight gain actually was quite a positive outcome for me there was absolutely no difference in power um, I thought maybe I'd feel there be a little bit of a, of a difference in power, like it might just be a little bit more sluggish than when it was running all up at 105 grams. But honestly, uh, these motors and this prop combination, absolutely no problem. As long as you've got a decent, strong battery, it will, uh, yeah, no problem delivering the current. The power was still there and there was just no difference. It felt exactly like it did when it was on the SD version in case you're wondering about that. And if you know me and the way I like to fly, I actually kind of like that little bit of extra inertia that this thing is now carrying uh, with that tiny little extra piece, little bit of weight because it adds a little more inertia to your maneuvers, which is something I really like. Sometimes when you go for super light builds, you have to do a little bit more piloting. I've mentioned this before um, uh, back in older videos. Um, but the lighter the quad is, the more you have to pilot it through manoeuvres. You can't just drop the throttle off and hope it will continue to go on its trajectory. With 5-inch quads, absolutely, or even heavy 3 inches, you've got enough uh, inertia and velocity. It will just track along an arc as you drop the throttle, a very predictable arc that helps you like do split S over trees and what have you. And the lighter it is, sometimes you'll find it will, as you take the power off, it will just stop. Um, the really light stuff, uh, you can do a backflip. You can be gunning along, do a backflip, come out of the backflip and you've completely stopped. So you have to pilot according to the sort of weight of the quadcopter. But that little bit of extra inertia made this really 
uh, feel a lot more like the big boys. So it actually fell into a really nice sweet spot. And again, the all up weight 130 is just brilliant. Super light, uh, that nice HD system integrated. And uh, yeah, I just think this is, has just worked out so well. So you can see just about under there, there's the XM Plus. You can see that through my guitar pick holes in case any of you hadn't quite worked that out. Um, yeah, guitar pick. And you'll see the little shape in there. And they're even shaped like the picks I like to use. Um, so yeah, uh, the diversity antennas I've bought through one of these smaller shapes. And then I always mount my diversity antennas at 90 degrees to each other because that's what you're meant to do. Um, there's that all-in-one as I mentioned. I really like the fact that this board comes pre-wired nicely uh, with the XT30 on, it, on the end and the cap integrated. As I said with the motors, these are the 1204 5000 kV beta FPV. These have been great, still running absolutely butter smooth. Um, and then these are the Gemfan Hurricanes, uh, which is uh, which are the ones I think Kebab helped develop with Gemfan, but they've been great. Really, really nice flying prop. Um, and I find them super smooth. They're fast. I, I just really like bi-blades down on this size and obviously better on three inch, I think, for bi-blades than 2.5. But of course, with our design, you can indeed go to 2.5. Um, and you can add up to three screws per motor if you're a particularly bashy flyer that likes to hit stuff maybe uh, just sacrifice the extra weight of uh, adding a bit more security i only fly with two that's more than enough on something that small um, so really not much more to say about that there's um, been a little bit of flight footage you've probably spotted i will have dropped in there um, i will be doing a little bit more with this because obviously uh, until i get the next board with the MSP option in there it's going to be I don't really want to be lugging my laptop uh, well, I, might, I could probably use an app and an OTG cable to go into this and, and do that I'd, I'd, that'd probably be an easier way to do it but I just love the convenience of tuning through the goggles as we all do and it's far faster I can stay focused and I can get things tuned up so um, from the flight footage it's not quite um, it's, it's a little bit shaky in places but that is purely because I had to guess some figures and it needs a tune and I just haven't got around to doing that um, but I will be tuning this to get it butter smooth like I do with all my quads and then I will start doing some serious ripping with this guy uh, shooting some gaps having some fun and bringing you some nice uh, HD footage of it all along the way so just a quick look and a little update on the Halo RC NJ guitar pick um, where it is we have now moved into HD absolutely loving it and of course I will leave links in the description to this guy if you fancy picking one up as I said so far we've had loads of great positive positive feedback about the whole experience. I absolutely love the way this flies. Of course I would. I made sure, you know, this this had all the things I wanted in it and bugged Chris to do it. And, and of course, with his brilliance, we ended up with something we were both really, really proud and happy with. So there we go. That's that for now. I will see you guys uh, with more of this to come in the very near future. See you in the next one.